Our video will start in like 25 seconds, but I just want to take a moment because it's Florian's birthday, and I want to like to take a selfie with all of you before it starts. So, one second. Hey everyone, my name is Harm de Vries. And my name is Florian Strub. And this is joint work with Sarat Chandar, Olivier Fietkin, Hugo La Rochelle, and Aaron Courville. So hey, guess what? What? We've collected a new large-scale visual dialogue dataset. Cool. How do you do that? Well, we collected the data by designing a new game. Wanna play it? Yes, I can't wait for it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. There's one hidden object you'll need to find. You can ask me yes, no questions. Hmm, let me think. What, is it a vase? Yes. Is it partially visible? No. Is it in the left corner? No. Is it the turquoise on purple one? Yes. Okay, I think it is this one. Correct, very good. Oh, that was fun. How much data did you collect? More than 10,000 people played the game on Mechanical Turk. In total, we have gathered more than 120,000 finished games. On average, there are more than five questions per game. Wow, that is a big dialogue data set. But why did you collect it? We wanted to create an environment for learning visually grounded language. As deep learning requires a lot of data, we collected the first large-scale data set for task-oriented and visually grounded dialogue. That makes sense, and I assume there are many strategies to locate the object. Yes, we found that people ask questions in which they group objects by their color, size, category, or spatial location. But wait, this is a two-player game. There must be multiple tasks. Yeah, good catch. There's the oracle task, where given an image, a question, and a hidden object, one must produce a yes-no answer. Then there is the question generation task, that requires to produce a new question, given the image, and all previous question answers. Finally, the guesser task involves guessing the object given a dialogue. But how hard are these tasks? I heard that deep learning can solve pretty everything, right? Uh, not really. We've implemented basic deep learning baselines. The Oracle model achieves 78.5% accuracy. For the questioner task, we achieved 39% accuracy when we combined all three models. So the tasks are far from being solved. All right, I'm convinced. How can I start? Go to guesswhat.ai, download our data and the baseline code, and start playing the game. Also, don't forget to drop by our poster for more information. Hey, guess what? Uh, what? Chicken butt. Okay, that's it.